Hey again, YouTube. Nutjob with a machete back with... Well, I'm honestly not sure what the hell I'm supposed to call this one. Um, is it a gentleman's knife? Is it a kitchen knife? Is it a last-ditch, you know, hideout weapon? What the hell is it? Well, I can't actually tell you the manufacturer, because the manufacturer isn't listed on the website where I purchased it. Um, but I'll put the specs and everything for it below, and if you wanted to take a look and see, maybe you can suss out the manufacturer, you go right ahead. What the hell is it? It's a folding ceramic knife. Now, it's not a slip joint or anything like that. This is a friction pivot. Uh, it is fairly difficult to open. You actually have to make a concerted effort, and it doesn't close up very easily. This is probably about two pounds, three pounds of pressure, and now we'll start to close. Really comfortable in the hand, but what the hell is it? It's a paring knife. At least that's what it's sold as on Gearbest. Again, go below and you can take a gander. But what I found is it, it's actually handy to have around for pretty much anything. Why, why do you want a ceramic knife? It is normally in the kitchen. Um, some fruits, some vegetables, even some meats uh, can pick up both the taste of the metal and can uh, begin oxidizing as soon as metal touches them. For instance, some high carbon steels, if you start chopping up something like, say, daikon, um, the daikon will start to brown really, really quickly. Use a ceramic blade or a ceramic coated blade even, and uh, you don't have to worry about that. Well, one of the things that you might be asking yourself is, is it sharp? Well, actually, well, I'm not gonna start shaving with it. I have to get rid of this. But, let's show you on a piece of paper. Now remember, this is actually not a ceramic coated metal blade. This is a ceramic blade. If you've ever seen those um, marking chalk in a uh, welding shop, that's kind of how this is. It's, it feels like plastic, but it's not. It, it is made of ceramic material. And it's actually been sharpened to a fairly decent edge. Well, at the very least, it cuts paper. Um, I've chopped up vegetables with it just to see how good it held up. I wanted to see if it could cut through meat. So I had some farmer's, sa farmer's sausage. English speak me good today. Uh, farmer's sausage. Sorry, I had a blip there. <laughs> and it actually... Yeah, I did something a little bit disturbing with it. I kind of put it all away from the tip and went across the sausage like that. Um, cut it up just fine. Um, obviously no metallic blade taste transfer or anything like that. Um, you know what, give me a second, I'll grab a carrot and I'll show you. Carrot, knife. <laughs> carrot bit in hand, carrot nipped. How tough is it? Well, let's go down. Yes, I'm cutting towards myself because I don't have a cutting board in front of me, but... The cat went right after that one. God damn it! <laughs> I hope you guys are getting a laugh out of this. Anyways, to prove it's a real carrot. <laughs> Sorry, I still got a little bit of carrot in my mouth. But, as you can see, I mean, it actually cuts hard material like carrots, it'll cut potatoes, uh, I've cut meat with it. It works really well on um, soft vegetables too, tomatoes, cucumbers, anything like that. Anything that you need cut up, it, it'll actually do it fairly well. And the fact that it's ceramic means that, again, no metallic taste transfer, it won't start the oxidization process, anything like that. You also don't have to worry about this thing rusting. Now the handle is plastic and the blade is ceramic. So the only thing I'm moderately concerned about is, say I wanted to throw this into my survival pack as the, the folding knife in a food processing kit in my pack, only thing I'd be concerned about is ultra low temperatures may be causing this handle to crack or break. But this thing was $4 at $3.66 Canadian. I think that was like two bucks American. Um, so, I mean, you could buy a couple of these, throw one in your emergency pack, keep one in your kitchen. Hell, 
you could keep one as your pocket knife if you really wanted to. Yeah. At the very least, if you brought this out as, say, your gentleman's knife, people would be asking you questions, um, possibly questioning your sanity, but they'd be asking you questions like, what the hell is that? One of the interesting things is I looked into uh, blade care for this. Now, you don't really have to worry about blade maintenance so much as, you know, having to oil the blade because it's ceramic. Um, but you can actually sharpen the blade. Uh, what I found is you don't want to use something like a carbide scraper that scrapes the material off as it does with steel because steel is more ductile. It will actually start peeling off. This doesn't work that way. You actually have to uh, essentially file the material off. And what I found was a brand new um, kitchen steel, one of the rods, works really well to touch this up. It actually didn't need too, too much after all the food processing that I put it through. Um, but I touched up just up here, sorry, up here a little bit. Um, down here is still as sharp as when I bought it. Up here got a tiny bit dull because I was constantly dragging it on a cutting sheet. Um, but yeah, I just grabbed a rough, a new uh, steel. I think I picked it up at the dollar store. <laughs> $2 knife, $1 steel. <laughs> back to being really sharp. Um, yeah, it's kind of an interesting little thing. Like I said, if you wanted it as a gentleman's knife, it'd be a hell of a conversation starter. But it, it, it's a neat little knife to throw in a food prep kit, throw in your kitchen, something like that. Um, and yeah, it's just kind of cool overall. Fiance loves the fact that it comes in multiple colors. She loves blue, as you can tell. Every single time I buy her something, it's got to be in blue. But you can get these in a few different options, yellow, red, something like that. If you're hearing noise in the background, my uh, neighbors are vacuuming, <laughs> even though it sounds like they're sanding their floors. But yeah, you can pick up one of these for about two bucks. Um, specs, everything, all that is below. And yeah, I actually think it's kind of a neat little thing. And I hope that maybe you haven't seen something like this before. And maybe I've piqued your interest in how you want to pick one up. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you like videos like this, please feel free to click like, feel free to subscribe, and feel free to share this video as much as you want. And until next time, guys, I'm Nutjob with a machete, with a kitchen device this time. Stay sharp.